Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, this is just going to be a quick, short, and sweet video. I'm basically going to be doing a comparison between Jada, Kingsmart, Hot Wheels, and Bergago. Alrighty, so if you saw before, we just did an unboxing of the new pullbacks for Hot Wheels. And I just kind of want to do a scale comparison. So Barago, this is a scale 143rd. This is a, a Porsche 911 GT2 RS. <clears throat> it is not pullback or anything. It is just a basic die cast. No opening parts, anything like that. But we're just going to kind of use it as a scale comparison to Hot Wheels because Hot Wheels unfortunately does not say what kind of scale it is. This one is the new Porsche 911 GT3. So it is a little bit different of a casting, but if you put them together, they are basically the same size. So I would probably put the Hot Wheels version as a 143rd. And then this one here is the Kinsmart version. They say this one is a scale one. 36 so you can see that it is bigger than the hot wheel version so that would kind of fit with how it goes and then this one over here is the jada version of the porsche uh, 911 gt3 rs so kind of basically the same casting as this one. And this one is advertised as a scale 132nd. So technically it should be bigger than the 136, but it is actually smaller. So I have done a comparison video before where I do believe that Jada's scaling is a little bit smaller than other ones. So technically a 132nd should be bigger than a 136th, but it is not. So like I said, this is going to be an under five minute video. Just wanted to do a quick comparison and I do have a bunch of these Porsches. So I just kind of want to show you what we have here. So this is not a pullback. This is just a regular Jada version, but it does have good detailing, opening doors, um, all that good stuff. Once you get into the bigger scales, they're even better. This is the Kinsmart, which is a pullback. Again, opening doors. Good detail on here. Um, nice to play with. Um, these tires are a little bit different. They are a softer rubber. Then we go into the brand new Hot Wheels pullbacks. Um, these are the newer versions. They did have ones before this that were basically all plastic. Now we are seeing them as metal. And of course you do have opening doors on this one. It also does feature a pullback version, which is pretty cool. The rubber wheels are a little bit harder, not as squishy and no grip. So the car tends to slide a little bit more, I think, than the other version. And then of course this one here is just a normal die cast. It does not have any kind of pullback features, no opening um, features, anything like that. But just figured I would show you some different versions of scale-wise. And then from here, you would even go smaller into like the 155th version, which you could see here as the Porsche um, 911. This one is put out by Majorette. And then, of course, we would go even smaller. And do I have one here with me? I do. Sure, why not. And then we have the Hot Wheels slash Maxbox version, version, which is about the same as a 164th. And I even do have, if you want to compare, this would be the um, Jada version of the 124th. And I do know that sometimes there even is a 120th um, 
sometimes uh, Willie's or Meso puts out a smaller version. But there you go, guys. If you guys were kind of wondering about scales, this is what you can go. And then they also have bigger versions of this, which would be a 1 18th. Unfortunately, I don't have any down here with me right now. But 1 64th, 1 59th, 1 43rd. Considering that is 1 43rd, that's 1 36th, 1 32nd, and 1 24th. So just a little variety of different sizes and different brands. Every brand varies differently, so you really can't compare it too much, but mostly they are within the couple of inches or so. But there we are. Hope this helped everybody if they're wondering about sizes. And that is it. So thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Join the crew where we put out a whole bunch of awesome videos here on the channel. So thanks for watching Spend Too Much Diecast, and we'll see you on the next unboxing. Bye.